Okay, let's talk about teacher certification math. And because you're watching this video, I assume you are getting ready for a specific teacher certification exam in a specific state and in a specific subject. And of course, not every single teacher certification exam has math on them, but most actually do. So the point to this video is to give you some good specific advice so you can get ready and pass your teacher certification exam the first time and specifically the math section. So if you've been kind of, uh, you know, anxious about the mathematics in your particular exam on how to and how to get ready for it, well, then I think this video is going to really help you out. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, you can't pass this exam. And of course, I know what it's like to take a teacher certification exam. I took the exam for the, to teach high school level mathematics, and that was a praxis exam. And I have a degree in math and a master's degree, and that was a pretty challenging exam. So you have to be ready uh, fully prepared to pass this exam the first time out. That's the whole point to this video is to give you some solid advice on how to do that. Now, uh, I want to let you know that I do have my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. But uh, if you go to my main website, you'll see a section on uh, teacher certification. Um, and in that section, I literally have uh, many, many, many different test prep courses, math te test prep courses for specific teacher certification exams. So if you're taking an NES exam, a practice exam, or if you're in Florida and you're taking an FTCE, or if you're in uh, New York and you're taking the New York State uh, teacher certification exam, you kind of get the idea. I have very specific uh, test prep courses that can really get you fully prepared for uh, your respective exams. So you can check that out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helps you out. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about how to get ready for the math on your teacher certification exam. And the best way to get ready is to avoid what I, li I like to think of as common mistakes. Okay, so this is what I've seen uh, through the years helping uh, many people get ready for their teacher certification exam. So let's just talk about this. If you can avoid these common mistakes, I think by default, you're going to put yourself in a much better position to pass this exam the first time out. So, you know, I keep talking about passing this exam the first time out. If you have never taken, taken, excuse me, a teacher certification exam, uh, I'm just going to tell you right now, a lot of people don't pass the first time, okay? They, uh, and oftentimes it takes um, some people two, three, maybe four times to get through. So you don't want to be that person. You really want to be fully prepared the first time. So let's talk about the first mistake that I think uh, people want to uh, consider t uh, becoming a teacher and are saying, okay, I want to uh, take this specific exam. Or maybe you're in college right now and you're, you're you know, looking at becoming an elementary teacher. So the first mistake is you're not quite, you know the exam you're taking, but you really haven't taken a look at what is on the exam, okay? So you need to go to the Department of Education uh, for your particular state and find the specific uh, exam you will be taking and look at what is going to be on that exam, okay? Just don't, you know, go by word of mouth or my professor told me this or some people told me that, you know, this is what's on the exam. You need to go to, um, to the website, look at the actual specific things that are going to be on that exam, read about what's, um, you know, what you can uh, the study uh, material you can have for the exam. Is it going to be multiple choice? Can you use a calculator, et cetera? So in other words, get very, very informed about the exam. Okay, a lot of students just, uh, or a lot of uh, people will just go to the exam and not really have you know, done the background work, and then they'll be shocked on the kind of math that's on that exam. All right, let's take a look at the second mistake, and that is they underestimate the exam. So for example, um, let's say you're, you're going to become an elementary school teacher and you're like, okay, uh, you know, I, I see that, you know, I mean, there's going to be some basic math, some algebra, and some geometry on, uh, on that exam. And now you go back and you think about your high school days, or maybe when you took math last, you know, maybe that's three, four years ago that you took a, um, a math course, maybe when you were a freshman in college and you're like, okay, uh, I got an A in that course. So yeah, I probably don't have to brush up much. I probably I'm going to be just fine. So you'll underestimate 
um, how much you know math you need to know. And even if you're good at math, and even if you did well in math, you need to kind of relearn all these skills. All right. So again, do not underestimate how challenging the math section of these respective exams are. And this is um, particularly true for like elementary uh, level exams. There's a lot of elementary uh, teacher certification exams out there to have pretty advanced high school level math on it. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, as long as I know place value, fractions, you know, basic comps like uh, basic concepts like that, you'll be uh, just fine for your elementary teacher certification exam. That's not the case. So you have to, you know, really go back and relearn a lot of mathematics. So don't underestimate this and just don't, you know, kind of, um, uh, you know, be overconfident just because you did well in high school math or maybe college math. You're going to have to go back and really brush up on your uh, math skills. All right, let's take a look at the next mistake. And I would call this a uh, study plan. What is your study plan and what materials are you using? Now, oftentimes, you know, you can go to your um, State Department of Education. It might have a little reference guide there. Or you might go uh, to Amazon and you might get yourself a, a study book, a textbook, and you might think, oh, that's perfectly enough. That's all I need. Well, that's what most people do. And guess what? Uh, many of those people who did that or follow that plan do not pass the test. OK, so we are just talking specifically about math here okay? and how you relearn math. Now, if you had a tough time in math in college or in high school, you're going to have to develop and learn these math skills. So you're really not going to uh, learn them by just reading a quick book, a little study guide, something along those lines. You're going to have to get yourself in a more immersive plan. So that's what I do. I offer a full comprehensive video-based test prep courses that really will teach you you know, the math skills you need to know, okay? So that's gonna be far more than you're gonna get from like a little, uh, uh, you know, guide that you would get at the bookstore. You go and you say, okay, I'm gonna uh, prepare for the FTCE or maybe the CBEST exam. And they might have, oh, I don't know, 20 pages of some basic algebra and geometry concepts and whatnot. That's not enough, okay? Especially if you haven't done well before uh, in mathematics. So get yourself into a serious uh, study, um, you know, a course or some sort of ser serious study plan far more than what is in a particular textbook uh, to get yourself ready for this exam. Remember, the goal is not only for you to pass this exam, but for you to pass it the first time. So let's talk about the next thing here. And speaking of time, you need to give yourself enough time to get prepared for these exams. All right. So if you're going for your high school level um, you know, uh, math certification, there's going to be quite a bit of mathematics, obviously, that's on that exam. So even though you know math, you're going to have to go through and give yourself enough time to work through a lot of different type of problems, et cetera, et cetera. I would say that uh, for the most part, anyone out there listening to this, there's no way you can cram in one or two weeks what you need to know uh, to be fully prepared. You know, you want to be 100% confident. I would say at a minimum, you need at least like a full month of like deep, full immersive, you know, every single day, multiple hours per day, you know, time working with mathematics. Okay, and that's assuming that you already have pretty strong math skills. But if you have to actually learn algebra, uh, you know, geometry, and maybe some more advanced algebra and basic mathematics, you're going to have to give yourself more time than that. So think about it. You know, if you're like, OK, uh, maybe it's the fall right now, maybe it's uh, September, or October. And, you know, you have to take this uh, respective uh, exam, maybe in May. Start working on this as early as possible. Give yourself as much time as possible. Now, let's talk about the last uh, thing here that I think is a mistake for some people. And that is their anxiety, their fear of math. And they just kind of, you know, tell themselves, oh, my goodness. Uh, you know, there's no way I could pass this. You know, I'm probably going to fail it. Listen, you have to get control of your mind, all right? And you got to say, look, I'm going to get through this exam and, you know, pass this thing. So the only way you're going to build up your confidence and not let fear kind of dictate, you know, what's going on is by a combination of just knowing what's going on, right? Knowing what's on the test, knowing, hey, I'm not going to underestimate it. 
having a strong study plan and giving yourself time so you can see your math skills build up. Okay, so when you go in and take this exam, you don't want to be in a state of fear or anxiety because if you have like test anxiety, you're, you know, even if you know what you're doing, you're going to kind of freeze up and you're probably going to do poorly on your exam. So you need to relax and go into it fully prepared. Now, I'm speaking, you know, um, to you here. I'm giving you this advice. You might be saying to yourself, well, you, you know, I passed this exam or how do you know? Well, I'm in a kind of unique position because I, you know, have helped uh, so many people get through their teacher certification exam, thousands of people. So it's not just my own experience. It's all the people I've helped along the way. But uh, anyways, hopefully I can help you out as well. If you're interested in uh, checking out your specific teacher certification exam math prep course, again, just go to my website. Uh, on there, you'll see a teacher certification section and go through there. I literally have probably uh, maybe 70, 80, 90 different teacher test prep courses. If your specific course is not or your specific, specific exam is not there, use our contact form. I'll take a look at um, your request and uh, we'll see what's going on because we're always adding new exams um, as teacher certification exams uh, are always changing, okay? But anyways, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your teaching career. Thank you for your time and have a great day.